It was the perfect day for tennis. Dad and I were both inspired after watching Roger Federer make quick work of Leighton Hewitt. Our ground strokes were consistent and powerful beyond logic. And in the first set, I was serving like someone who's had lessons. There was flow, there was connection. The toss was slightly forward. My body leaning in in anticipation of the volley. And in the second before contact, when I was in mid-swing, someone yelled, FOUR! The ball limped through the air and hit the bottom of the net. Three young men on bikes on the other side of the fence. I said, that was very clever, but actually we're playing tennis. What you! And he retorted. I said, that's very original. He said, that's very original. And I asked him if he realized that he was mocking me, mocking him. I suppose this was confusing because he shouted at my dad next. He said, you look like Santa. And then he said, nice hat. And though dad's burgundy visor might be a little bit outdated, it was still a really lame insult and clearly dad and I were winning. I told them they were boring. I told them they were losers. I said, go find a hobby. You have no inner lives. I have seen the future, and I don't know what to blame. So I will wish it all the best and continue with my game. I flirted with the thought that I was being unfairly intolerant that they were just at loose ends and naturally exuberant like all young men showing off full of bluff and bluster practicing for a life in sales I thought back to my own reckless youthful escapades bushwhacking through the Devonian gardens sneaking onto the Indian reserve and taunting free-range cattle belching on crowded buses throwing crab apples at cars Downing a 26er of rum and going to the Mormon dances Kicking the soap dispensers off the bathroom walls Sticking the DJ's mixtapes down the front of my pants I thought, who wasn't a little asshole? I have seen the future And I don't know what to blame So I will wish it They hung out by the hockey rink, yelling incomprehensibly. They made three dirty snowballs, came back and threw them at us. Their language became fouler and sexually aggressive. They would do sick things to my family, and Dad and I were a couple. Dad said, Run along, boys. Your mom is calling you for dinner. They responded to his accent by calling him a border jumper. Back to where you came from, you fucking idiot. Dad said, I imagine things have changed quite a bit in Frankfurt since 1955. I approached them very calmly and asked them in all earnestness, what makes you want to come here and antagonize two strangers who are minding their own business and just trying to play some tennis? And after a short pause, the red-faced ringleader said, Come oh, funny. And then they rode off. Dad said with chagrin, They must have learned that stuff from their parents. I said, don't forget, Dad, we are in Calgary South. And though we carried on, it was clear we were distracted. Both of us fantasizing about clubbing them with our rackets. And Dad believes in justice, and I believe in hell. And we believe that reckoning comes down within our so sad. I have seen the future and I don't know what to blame so I will wish it all the best and continue with my game I'll continue with my